So I've been getting a lot of questions. How would Halo Master Chief looks on a BenQ HD 2550 projector? How it would, would look? Well, this is how it would look. It would look beautiful. Today I cannot talk, man. I don't know why. Um, okay, let me explain a couple of things, a couple of reasons why uh, 4K and HDR from the Xbox One X looks good on a BenQ HD 2550 projector. I want to explain a couple of things so that way you don't just memorize it, but you also understand that. Why? All right. One of the key differences between the previous projectors who are just using a native 1080p is the fact that they're losing a good color accuracy. And in this case, BenQ has implemented a red, green, and blue RGB, RGB color wheel. Okay? The color wheel, you see that rainbow effect? It's the color wheel that it's spinning and it's producing that nice Rec. 709 color gamut, okay? Your, projects, your projector has to have a good color gamut in order for the projector to be able to display beautiful colors onto your uh, screen and your wall. So the color wheel is the key thing. RGB, RGB. That's the key thing that I love about HD 2550 is the color wheel. That color wheel, it's way better than the RGBW. Okay, RGBW decreases a little bit of that color accuracy and it decreases a little bit of that contrast ratio. Okay. So, the first thing that you're getting with uh, BenQ HD 2550, obviously, it's the color gamut. Much better color accuracy with RGB, RGB DLP spinning wheel. Okay. That's number one. Number two is obviously the pixel shifter. The pixel shifter also, which uses the color wheel, it upscales every and each pixel to give you that higher resolution. And in this case... 8.3 million pixels. Okay, so what he's trying to do is trying to upscale every and each pixel to reach 8.3 million pixels. And it does a really great job by doing so. It's still a 4K. This is still 4K because you're outputting 8.3 million pixels. Okay, it doesn't matter how you get there. It's still a 4K. All right. So you got color wheel, RGB, RGB. You got... Uh, pixel shifter and on top of all of that you are getting a really good contrast ratio that's how you get those beautiful black digital levels a nice dynamic picture so when you have all of those ingredients when all of these ingredients are put together this is going to be the end result it's going to look much much better now I'm currently I'm playing uh uh, Halo Reach. Here's my controller, as you can see. Uh, no issues. Everything's smooth. Hold on. I gotta connect my controller. There it is. So, I just wanted to kind of bring this up to your attention, guys, uh, before I start doing my before I do my live stream, because it's difficult for me to answer your questions. When I'm doing a live stream, because I'm focusing on a video game, okay, and I cannot focus on the chat room and the video game at the same time. I would rather I do a separate video and I show it to you, so that way you can see for, your, for yourself as to what I'm talking about, okay? Now, people say, uh, what about the rainbow effect? Rainbow effect, it's something that, honestly, the camera lens, it's going to the, depict it. I maybe there's a handful of people who can see it and see that rainbow, okay? But you're mainly gonna see it through a camera lens, okay? 
But I personally don't think that majority out there is going to see that rainbow effect. Okay? Unless you happen to be a special human being that actually sees that. Okay? I don't know. Maybe you are. So, here's the thing. Ben QHT 2550, I've done a truckload of, of videos on this projector. And I would say it's one of my favorite 4K projectors. 4K HDR projectors. However, you know, you have to consider one fact. And that's that it's discontinued. It's discontinued and... The reason it's discontinued, it's because of a faulty power supply. It's not a lamp. It's not an overheating issue. It's a faulty power supply. And uh, I think I've proven that point with my previous video. And the video before I did, uh, from last week, where I opened up my projector. So, that's what I think the issue is. And that's the chance you're going to have to take with this projector that's the uh one thing that's gonna suck is you're gonna have to take that risk with a uh hopefully you don't get a faulty power supply hopefully but just keep that in mind there's a good possibility the next time you turn it off and you try to turn it back on there's a good possibility that it's not gonna work so i'm just trying to kind of keep you guys advised on what I have experienced, okay, and what conclusions I have come up with with this projector, okay? So anyway, there you have it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you on the live stream shortly. All right, have a good one, though. Take care.